In this example, two worksheets were made to show how to create a drop-down list on a separate worksheets, named form, and list contents. But, it is also possible to create it inside one worksheet. Here, two columns named as continents and currencies were made. Highlight the list of continents. Then at the name box, type continent, and press enter. Do the same with currencies list. Then, go to the form worksheet, and create the continents and currencies columns where respective drop-down lists will be applied. Under Continent, either you select a single cell or highlight a group of cells where you want to apply the drop-down list, then go to Menu, select Data, then choose Data Validation. In Data Validation window, under Allow, select List from the choices. Then at the source, type equal sign followed by Continents, and click OK button. You will notice that at the side of the selected cell or cells, drop down icon will appear, which if you click it, corresponding list of continents will be shown. If you selected and applied it in a single cell earlier, copy the same to the rest of the cells in the column where you want to apply the drop down list. Do the same to the currencies column. What if, you want to add one or more item in the list? Here, currencies column is transferred below continents column in order to accommodate additional row without affecting continents contents. Do not put the additional item below the lists already made, instead insert the new item in between the existing list. You can then sort the list if you want. Change made is automatically updated on the form worksheet.
If you have some queries and suggestions, please comment below.